you guys got off that hot start offensively in the first half. Just what was clicking for you guys so well? Uh, I missed this. We ended up with 33. Uh, we're moving the ball. I think we moved the ball all night. Got good looks all night. And then that comeback they made in the second half, how much of that was, was them playing hard versus you guys taking the foot off the gas a bit? Uh, I think they got a lot of three-point plays. They had some threes, and they got a lot of and ones. And I think that just... You know, you foul somebody and make a shot, they go to the free throw line, they slow out, that slow our momentum up. So they got about four or five of those tonight, I feel like, especially in transition. So that slowed us down a bit. And um, you got to give this team credit. They uh, they play fast. They try to get up the court. They know that uh, transition is going to be the way they can hang their hats on on the offensive side of the ball. So they pushed it a lot, and they got they got and ones, and I think that was key. In the three-point line, they made some tough ones, and the and ones got, it, got them back into the game. So you would attribute that more to kind of the make or miss nature of it and them hitting some shots than, I don't know, natural human nature of you guys being up 20-something and maybe letting something slip after that? I mean, it's pro we, they pros. Like, I know we got high expectations for us, especially when we up, but it's, you got guys that put numbers up on the board in the NBA before on that team, you know? So we got to respect them for that as well. I know we should have kept the lead, but you still got to respect them as NBA players. Um, but I like our intensity. I like how we came out on the offensive side of the ball, moved the ball, pretty much controlled the whole game. Kevin, Steve Clifford was saying before the game that as far as preparation and passion for the game, the guy who you reminded him most of was Kobe. I know you're used to getting praise at a lot of levels, but when you hear somebody that I know you respect, like Cliff, compare you to Kobe, what does that mean to you? I mean... <clears throat> it's hard to it's hard to fill them shoes and to uh, be a Kobe Bryant, um, but Kobe, somebody I've been around and still study to this day, and basically I just try to copy everything he does. You know, um, same with Michael Jordan. Um, those two guys just set the tone for everything you want to be as a basketball player. So I just uh, simply try to copy them as much as I can. Um, and, you know, I guess that showed to Cliff, and I enjoyed being around him a lot. We talked a lot about the game of basketball, so uh, I'm sure he can hear that, hear it in my voice how much I just enjoy that, you know, dialogue about the game. So I, that's pretty cool to hear, man. I love Cliff. In your time with Kobe, what do you think you learned most from him? Um, really just don't be a crybaby, like, I was at that age at 23 where I thought my, the world revolved around me, you know, so, um, and he was, I know we talked a lot about Kobe, he was real humble in how he approached the game, how he approached his teammates, just life in general, so I just learned just from watching his movements, just, you know, he was an example, he didn't say much, but he was an example just by how he moved, and I try to emulate, like I said, him and Mike are two dudes I emulate at, on and off the court, what, what they do, and uh, it only make me better.